Welcome to the world of shadows, where demons gather. Ah, <sighs> I really should start more episodes with you, Sophia. Hello, hello, my lovely connoisseurs of the culture, and welcome back to the beautiful world of Shibigami Tensei Five. I guess it's the second route, the reborn route, whatever we're calling this. I don't know what you guys want to call the second season of this, but we're doing this, we're doing this live. I hope everyone's ready for this one, because we're going to hopefully beat the second area. I'm going to rush through and hopefully take down Lamu. But for those who remembered, uh, I technically beat the game, and this is just New Game Plus mode, where instead of suffering the nightmares of this game, I'm going to just steamroll everything. I mean, everything shall be steamrolled. The purpose of this is just to get as much uh, bombs and essences and everything just to get ready to take down the Demi Boy. So, you already know how it is. So, I guess I really don't need to say too much about story. This is really what else is there to mention. Uh, I guess for now, I'm going to do a fusion. I have this Metatron. I've been farming a little bit off camera, but I don't really know what to do with Metatron. I kind of had him, but I don't really know what to do with you. Uh, let's see. I can make Flamus. Yeah, I'll just make Flamus, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm just doing the future earlier. Uh, I already know viewers are like, Oh, wait, but you've done all the compendium. Yeah, I have, but it's I have no point in breaking tradition, right? Might as well do it, so I don't have to worry about it. Let's see, which one of you guys has Metatron? That's the one demon I don't really need. Oh, I don't want to get rid of Abdiel. Uh, let's see, where is Metatron? I know viewers are like, wait, you're starting the episode with a fusion? Eh, why not, you know? I don't usually, so I might as well just get it over with. Eh, screw, screw it. We'll do this. Uh, let's see. What do I want to give you? Bam, 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 bam. I don't really care. Uh, bam and bam. Oh, one more. Bam. Done. Most ridiculous uh flamus I need or I made. Yep. Oh wait, I shouldn't have done that. Forgot. I want. I usually show the full animation of a fusion. Eh, well, I could just do another one real quick. It's, it, I guess it's just like, I don't know, like a tradition, right? Or like a mantra. You know how athletes usually like, I don't know, they like kiss their shoes or they like, I don't know, tighten up their uh, helmets or, I don't know, give a partner a wedgie. Like just little traditions like that to like compel people to, to get ready for a game or something. That's usually what I think about with these fusions. I usually think, oh, it's nice to just like do a random fusion. Uh, I am still working on making a pixie. Uh, it's not going to be uber pixie, but I am working on it. Uh, but I don't really know what to do. So, hmm, what demon's random? Uh, you know what? I'm going to just, I'm going to look away, far away from my thing. I'm just going to randomly cycle through. Hopefully it's a demon that uses Flamus. I'm just going to take whatever random demon and we'll go to see what happens. Eating... I need you. What'd I do? Kunushi? Oh, I actually like a Kunushi. Wait, does it take Flamus though? It does take Flamus. Okay. You'll be today's random fusion. I think I'll do that for this uh, second series of things. Just make random fusions. Just for the sake of it. Uh, what do I give you? This, this, um... This, 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 and this. Boom. Now, this animation I'll, I'll show. But yeah, viewers, the whole point of this episode at least is just to rush through the second area as hopefully and quickly as we can. Unfortunately, I can't skip cutscenes that quickly because Atlas. But at the same time, we'll hopefully be able to get through this and then maybe, depending on the timing, we might be able to just get a little four-way into the third one. Uh, this is a brief uh, lesson. Uh, this is more for Twitch because I don't know if by the time uh, YouTube you get this video, I'll still be playing this. But if I am, then this is a reminder. Please, please, please throw your votes. Uh, ooh, I got some slowdown for my game here. Uh, make sure to refresh your browsers, by the way, because there might be some lag. Uh, but please, 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 if you haven't voted on my YouTube, there is a poll for what Persona is going to be done after this game. So it's going to be like so far, it's looking like you guys are voting for Portable. So Portable may end up happening unless, I don't know, FES or normal Persona 3 has an upset. Nice to meet you too. Uh, but yeah, please let me know. Obviously, you can also let me know in chat and everything, but I just want to, you know, get my things going here. I don't really need any of these things, so whatever. Oh, I could have gotten rid of Impaler's Animus. All right, that's enough. Let's just get to it. Return. I'll return later. But yeah, let's see how quickly we can rush through this. 
I've been seeing some videos of people doing like speed runs. I'm like, wow, these guys really just ripped through. Oh yeah, I also did do the Mothman quest. Uh, if you guys remember, that was a quest I triggered last time. Uh, oh yeah, I realized I'm getting so into this already that I forgot to do my usual moniker. Um, hmm, Algami is busy having his update, so I guess I can. Oh hey. Yeah, sorry. I usually would have Algami do the intro for this, but he's busy updating his upcoming uh his software. Uh, you know, uh, he's trying to go for some uh, antivirus uh, malware protection. Uh, not to say that he warranted something that deserved a virus, but he's just doing his best to avoid that. So, I guess I'll do the intro for me. So, for those who love this lovely game of mine, who just love my random impressions, or you're just curious about me, uh, I greatly urge and support, uh, urge and support, I greatly ask that you support uh, my endeavors, and hopefully this will be entertaining for you. If any part of this is entertaining for you, or you're just like, you know what, yeah, this guy's doing alright, then by all means, leave me a- oh yeah, here we go. Then by all means, leave me a comment on the section below, uh, Twitch, you can let me know on Discord, YouTube, you already know, you can let me know in the comment section, right? But at the same time, if you like me, or if you want to be supportive, or just be nice and kind, then you can follow me on Twitch under the handle of Vitamin DGR. That is Vitamin DGR. You can even subscribe, you know, uh, doesn't hurt to subscribe. I know it may seem like a lot, but it really isn't. But nonetheless, you can even subscribe to my uh, both my Twitch or YouTube with the same name and handle, where you know in the right place when you see the lovely loaf of dog. Heck, while you're at it, why don't you even click up the thumbs up? I can really appreciate these likes. I'm actually, uh, you don't have to do this. This is something that a friend is, uh, I made a bet to a friend that I would get one of these views which is impossible because I know, like, as soon as someone clicks on it for a couple seconds, I think it upsets the views. Um, I bet that I would get 69 and only 69 on a video. And I realized that was a fool's bet because all it takes is one person to see it for a couple seconds and boom, it's already done. Uh, watch, like, I mean. And who knows, maybe there'll be one person out there that's like, nah, I don't want to, like, like your video, but hey, I appreciate likes as well, so it greatly helps uh, here the offices of Vitamin DGR. Now, if you'll excuse me, time to go rip through this jazz again. Uh, let's see. I gotta fight Kumanda again, huh? Eh, this won't take long. Like I said, this is New Game Plus mode. I shouldn't have to worry about anything until, like, the fourth area. But, I'll give you the benefit of doubt. Oh, yeah, see? I only took half health, when normally I would have been able to do a lot more. Oh, there you go, you're dead. You, you killed me again! Wait, why do I remember the first time? Anyway, give this a succubus. Right, right, you viewers remember the first time we fought him. A bottle that, what is it, it drains the sexual energy of men? Feels like a little bit of an innuendo, but it, you know what? Eh. Hey, wait, I can say these things. I'm pretty sure most of the people watching this are aware there's an M rated. Eh, well, I don't know. I don't really leave. Uh, this is actually a good brief uh, segue. Uh, I got a com well, not really a comment, more like a whisper uh, on Twitch, actually. So, YouTube, you're going to be a bit uh, caught off on this one, but humor me. I got a random Twitch message, a Twitch whisper, uh, about my videos. And before someone's like, oh, was it a good thing? It's a bad thing? It wasn't per se a good thing, but I don't... Okay, so I'm not gonna out the name, because even though it's a username, I, I don't know if it's like, it's friends of a friends, and it might be like getting them suspicious, but they might be like, wait, did you really say that? Then again, it could be just somebody like, you know, like bugging, making a fake account or something. I couldn't tell you. What, what they said was they saw the games I played and the jokes I made and everything. And they said, well, your content's nice. Uh, it would be really grateful. It would be really appreciative if you started making uh, content purely for kids. And I asked, what? I literally said, what? So then I asked them, what do you mean? It's like, why don't you do games that kids will like? And I didn't respond, but I had half a mind to say, what do you mean? What kid isn't going to love dealing with supernatural threats and demons and murder. No, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. This is obviously, I didn't say these things, but all things considered, I play games for like Multiple most ages. Entry. I like to think I'm I'm able to reach a large spectrum of people. 
I don't want to cater to just one person, per se. I mean, granted, most of the people I think that watch this are more into, like, well, games I am. So JRPGs or anime or, like, things like Shimigami or Persona or whatever. Uh, so I don't really know exactly what group I'm catering to. All right, I can't do this yet. I don't really know exactly what group I'm catering to, but I kind of like having variety. It's nice to be able to, like, get maybe a group of people to like me, and I really hope I'm able to get you guys and girls to like me. But I don't want to lie and say, oh, I'm only going to go for one specific, like, group of people or persons or whatever. Uh, was there anything else warranting being up here? Was there, like, a Mimon? Yeah, there was a Mimon. Okay. Uh, let me also do this, because I'm also trying to make sure my video... There we go. Sorry, my thing was like, you're speaking rather loudly. Yeah, 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 same as say. But yeah, that was, it happened a couple of days ago. Uh, and I won't say it caught me off guard, but it, it was different. It was definitely different. I just felt myself honored because I think I'm at the stage as a quote unquote content creator where I'll get random like messages and whispers and stuff. Like, I don't remember my first negative one or my first positive one per se, but uh, I, I find it interesting. I'm finally at the point where I can start getting these kinds of comments. Because <laughs> I feel like it means I'm not just another random drop in the bucket. You viewers know, like, I, I made at least some degree of a threshold in somebody's lives. I don't know. I hope I have. Guess we'll know by the time this video is done. How does my hair not move when I do this? It just stays in one position. Oh, well, kind of. Whee! Ugh, alright. Now, the goal is to rip through this second area for sure this episode, and maybe even get to the third area. I realize the error of my previous ways of thinking to myself, oh, I could totally beat an episode, uh, beat an area in an episode. The heck was I thinking? I know how long this game is. I know kind of gamer I am. Even if I skip the cutscenes, I still have to like mash fast forward. There's no way I'll be able to do all this. Plus, I still think I need to do all the subquests. I think there was a Mimon I missed. Well, I think the, uh, the, the goal is just to rip through the area and then later I'll be able to do this. Go for Mimons. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fairy King, cool. Sweet, thanks. Later. Hmm, I wonder if there will be any, like, notable differences in New Game Plus mode compared to Normal mode. Congratulations, you found us. Uh, what, what are you doing here? I'm here to help the humans. No, you're not. You're... Oh, right, I forgot about Pyrojack being a navigator. Uh, <laughs> Pyrojack hurts. Like, he means well, and I know I've been on this ramp before, but... Power Jack's only good if you want to fight, because his odds of fighting enemies is... Watch her to fight enemy right now. Oh, okay. Wow. Wait, make me look like a loser. I know, I'm doomed for failure, man. Ugh. I still think Huapo's the best navigator. I mean, Ame obviously is, like, the equivalent of your pixie from Nocturne, but... If we didn't have Amanozako, I really do think that uh, Pyrojack's the best. Or er, Pyrojack, jeez. Uh, that uh, Huapo is the best demon. Oh, yeah, I need those. Alright. I don't remember. Do I deal with Idun now? No, I gotta go for the golden apples again. I know where Idun is. I have one next to me. Hey, remember when I was relevant like over 30 episodes ago? Yeah, man, does time fly? Anyhow, let's get this nonsense. Alright, we gotta go find three golden apples. Cool, thanks. Oh, that means I gotta fight Loki again? Ugh. See? See? That's the letter of the day. Oh, no, viewers. I gotta, like, I gotta be able to go on a bit of a nostalgia rant here. Uh, YouTube. So, I've been... Uh, this time I've actively been not, this isn't another, oh, wow, the YouTube algorithm, like, strikes random gold or anything like that. No, I've actively been looking for, like, old, like, Jackie Chan movies, because Chan's the man, obviously. 
And the reason I, I, um, oh, well, there's the enemy. The reason I was was because a friend of mine brought up a rumor that I think they're working on a fourth rush hour, which if they are, cool, because rush hour is fun. Ooh, what am I doing? Do I have a multi-hit thing? No. No, I don't. But I know who does. Blow him up. Uh, but yeah, I heard a rumor. I don't know if it's true or not. Maybe someone in the comment section can let me know. Uh, but a rumor that they were making another rush hour. Uh, the rush hour with, um, Jackie Chan and that, uh, comedian guy. John, no, not John. Chris, Chris Tucker? Is that his name? I was about to say John Tucker. John Tucker must die. No. Uh, and it was just like a funny, well, it, obviously it's Jackie Chan, so it's like action comedy, so... Whatever, and I remember watching the first two movies. The third movie is kind of a blur, but I still have... Well, I mean, I still like them. I don't think there was anything bad about it. I think my favorite ones were the first two. Uh, definitely a very 90s movie, so... Stay right now in case there's any newer uh, audiences watching this. Very 90s, so take that how you will. Um, but there was a rumor of Rush Hour 4, and it made me think about like all the... Things that Jackie Chan did, and I realized like he's his own stunt man, as far as I'm concerned. He doesn't really hire stunt people. I think if he's still doing movies now, which I think he still is, because Chan's the man. I think he still does his own stunts, which is very impressive. Like I always have mass respect for martial artists, or well, I guess any actor really, but martial artists for the sake of this, that are capable of doing their own stunts without the need of like a stunt double or anything. I just found that, like, pretty impressive. Or they may be just trying to save money. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. But I just thought it was really cool. Um, but yeah, I heard rumor that they were doing a fourth rush hour. So, I didn't look it up, but I remember typing in rush hour. And one of the things was, like, the bloopers. And after the bloopers, I was thinking to myself, wow, he really does do his own stunts. Because there was a stunt that he did in the first rush hour movie. Where he did like this leaping kick and fell on a chair and he like kind of hurt himself. Uh, and of course I was just like, ooh, but you know, he was okay and everything. And I was like, wow, he's, he's tough. Like he's always been. I remember uh, watching some of his older films like Drunken Master and uh, what is it called? Meals on Wheels and Police Story. And those movies, if you know, you know. Like I said, this is, this is going to be another side of culture here. Culture is many things. Uh... But he did his own stunts in those movies, and I thought it was really cool. So, eventually, at one point, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna, like, go on YouTube and just look up random moments where I, like, deal with, uh... Oh, right, I need, um... I forgot what demon I need for a demon conversation. Uh... This could be a random, like, moment of Jackie Chan just, like, kicking some serious butt and using some cool martial arts. And he's a really good martial artist. In case anybody hasn't watched it, I can definitely recommend a bunch of Jackie Chan movies. Uh, if you want the more simple, like, more mainstream ones that most people know, I can recommend, like, cheesy ones, like, uh, well, Rush Hour or The Tuxedo with, uh, what's-her-face, Jennifer Love Hewitt. But if you want some really good, like, martial arts films, watch Forbidden Kingdom. No, no, no. Actually, that's the one I'm a little disappointed with. But, uh, no, honestly, watch Drunken Master, Drunken Master 2, uh, watch Wheels on Meals, uh, watch Jackie Chan's Who Am I?, any police, well, the earlier police stories, um, whoa, did not see your enemy. Uh, what else is a good one I, I can remember? I think it was First Strike. I don't remember, I don't remember which one it was, but there was one of these where he, uh, did the ladder fight, where he actually fought with one of those, like, collapsible ladders, which was really impressive. Like, that wasn't, that was him himself. No anything else but him just, like, going ham on, oh, hey. Man, if only you guys didn't suck with your aim. Like, it was really amazing seeing him, like, be able to do these incredible stunts. And shout out to the people he's whose ass he's kicking, because seriously, I don't know how they do it. They're they're amazing. This is the point where somebody's like, oh, would you want to do it? It's like, uh, I mean, what am I learning? I'm not really a physical person, but hey, if I had an opportunity to get into a play fight or whatever, or a Hollywood fight, or whatever was done fight with a extremely cool martial artist that was as cool as Jackie, then heck yeah, would totally be honored. 
I really think it was First Strike, though, right? It had the ladder? I hope I'm not. If I'm wrong, and it was some other movie, then I apologize. There's so many movies he's done. But, uh, not just Jackie Chan, but eventually, it was started with Jackie Chan. Uh, to finish this bit before I go into another martial arts I've been watching. Uh, it started with Jackie, but eventually, uh... Oh, right, I forgot I was going for the Golden Apples. <laughs> then I forgot what I was doing, I was just running around aimlessly. It started with Jackie, and eventually, as I was watching his stuff, it recommended me Jackie Chan Adventures. And, oh gosh, viewers, like, earlier today, I was doing it to my friend. Uh, who actually do have a friend named Jackie, but it's a she, not a he. And every now and then, <laughs> she's she's probably gonna hear this. Uh, I could say it. It's, there's like a million Jackies. I don't worry. I'm not to worry about name dropping. It's not like anybody's worried. And Jackie, if you're listening to this, yeah, I'm using this bit. Uh, anything down there? No. But I have a female friend named Jackie, like J C K I E, like honestly. Um, and. We were just over at the store. We were just grabbing like a bite to eat and everything. Um, do I need to do this? No, I don't. Why am I even here? All right, I was going for golden apples. I'm kind of getting distracted here. Uh, we were golding, golding. Uh, we were going shopping, and uh, I don't know for whatever random reason, I just kept finding myself being like, Jackie, Jackie, research, and she was like, Are you seriously doing the Jackie Chan things, Jackie? Do more great war Vikings out. Do more great war Vikings out. Oh, so good. And I know it just stirred somebody's nostalgia, like somebody's memories with this. But if any newer viewers do not know what I'm talking about, please. Oh my goodness gracious. You, have, If you know Jackie Chan, can you imagine him in his own animated TV series? Oh gosh, it's actually legitimately good. It's super good. Although I'm still kind of confused by like the placements of the episodes because the first season's dealing with the stone talismans based off the, the Chinese zodiac. And the second one is, what is it? Wasn't it dealing with, like, a box for Shendu? God, I don't remember the later seasons as much. It's mainly the first season that's more prevalent to me. Uh, for those who want a brief primer um, on Jackie Chan Adventures, uh, I remember watching it back on Kids WB back in New Jersey. Uh, grab this real quick. Uh, back in New Jersey. Um, and it was just the show about Jackie who... Worked at a, I think he was working at like an artifact store uh, with his uncle who was like an appraiser. And I believe it's his niece. His niece, yeah. I was, I was showing my head. I don't know if it was his niece or his cousin. I think it's his niece. His niece who comes over named Jade. Uh, who just comes. She's kind of like rambunctious, tomboy. You know how it is. Uh, but eventually they get pulled into this like kind of like lectum like quest. Where they rush to try and collab... Uh, can I go up here? I don't think I can go up here. I think I gotta run the long way. Ugh. Ooh. Right, I forgot about the drops in this game. Uh. Oh, well, don't need that. Last one. Hold on. Where's the button for the map? Zoom in. This way. Got it. Um... But yeah, they're dealing with those like uh, evil syndicate that's working for this mythological evil demon-like thing named Shendu. And in order to be freed, it needs... Uh, ooh, sweet, thanks. It needs these 12 talismans, one for each of the uh, Chinese zodiacs. So, ox, rooster, uh, badger... No, I'm just kidding. Ox, rooster, snake, uh, goat, dragon... I can't remember all the Chinese zodiac. Wow. Rat... Sheep, I think. Wait, well, it's not goat, isn't it? Sheep? Wow, I can't remember all the other uh, things of the Chinese Zodiac. Wow, that's crazy. I was literally about to say Scorpio, Aquarius, Capricorn, <laughs> just to, like, cheat it. I can't remember. There might be some... I, I know there's some. I'm totally forgetting, but I really cannot remember the rest of the animals of the Chinese Zodiac. Wow, I'm so ashamed of myself. I remember trying to research that for the longest time. Hmm, it'll come to me later. Uh... And what was cool about the show was that these talismans, each and every one bestowed a different ability. So, like, let's say Snake was able to, like, give you invisibility. Or, um, like, Ox, like, brought you, like, like youth and extreme healing and energy. Uh, things like that. Or Dragon would, like, give you, like, fire powers or something. Like, you could, I think, breathe or shoot fire. Like, it was really cool, these talismans. And... I don't know, I, that was definitely one of my favorite shows, a lot more than like things like Shaolin Showdown stuff. This is not a segue for Shaolin Showdown, so don't worry. Not yet. 
Uh, but no, I can't recommend Jackie Chan Adventures. Granted, it was like early 2000s, so again, it might be on the quote-unquote age side. But I was very little when I watched it, and then I re-watched it when I was a bit older, and I was like, wow, this show was really, really good. I miss it. I miss it a lot. Mr. Chan, uh, I don't know if you know who I am. Hi, I'm V. Uh, I play random games. I make random references. I have a pretty nice voice. Uh, if you somehow hear this, uh, I would love to have a sit down and ask about your inspiration for Jackie Chan Adventures. Great, I know this wasn't something he alone made, obviously, but he helped produce it and I thought it was really cool. And what I also thought was cool was at the end of, I think it was season one, I don't remember it much in season two and three. But at the end of season one, it was cool because Jade, I think her voice actress, would go up to, oh, Matama, cool, uh, would go up to real life Jackie, who would be practicing uh, that, what is it, the bar that, I can't think of any, I don't know what the bar is called, but it's the bar with the extra, like, knobs on it. I keep thinking of, like, the bar that It Man Donnie Yen practices, a uh, one block that goes, felt like, practice moves and forms. I really wish I remember what that thing was called. Again, please let me know in the comment section. Uh, but every now and then, Jackie would be like practicing his martial arts, and Jade's voice actor, or somebody rather, would be asking Jackie like various different things. And apparently, Jackie Chan was so good, he would like ask or uh, offer like different little nuggets of wisdom. So not only was he funny and an incredible martial artist, but he was wise too. But then again, this is Jackie freaking Chan. This is the guy who sang the Chinese version of I'll Make a Man Out of You, like the Mulan song. And in case anybody's like, wait, are you serious? I will leave a link at the end of this video or I'll post it on Discord. So that way you viewers are like, wow, V doesn't make this stuff up. No, I don't. I I, I think I've already established that all the things I say are legit. I do my damnedest to, ooh. I do my damnedest. Uh, if I'm wrong, I'll easily say I'm wrong, but I don't try to like say these random bits and moments for no uh, out of jest. I know somebody right now is probably, as I'm talking about it, being like, there's no way Jackie Chan saying, I'll make a man out of you in Chinese. Nah, he did. And he practiced some martial arts, and it is. I didn't think I needed that in my life. I don't know, maybe I'm just saying this as a fan of the Chan Man, but still, I thought it was really cool. Alright, here's your precious golden apples. Uh, the other martial artist... When, when I think about Jackie Chan, oh man, that's actually useless now. Oh, I actually have so much money, I don't know what to do with. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, cool, thanks. You're welcome. This is the part where we can now take down Lamu? Yeah, skip. I think we can now go after Lamu. Yep, okay, I can go, uh, go save Makima. Which, I'm gonna date this video here. Um,. I was going to go on a segue on martial arts, but I'm going to wait for that in a second. Uh, what do I do? Mandrake roots? Oh, right. I got to do that too. Ugh. Whatever. I won't. It shouldn't take me too long. Uh, let's see. Are there other subquests that popped up here? Yeah. The uh, Save It Dune one. Um, oh, and that one. Right, all right. I can do those real quick. Actually, can I work between the spots? It'll be quicker. Nah, I can just run it. While I'm at it, I might as well. Wait, where am I? Oh. Right, I forgot. This was the last one I touched. Oops. Whatever. Um, before I go back on the segue to martial arts, I just want to briefly say... Uh, I don't know how many of you viewers watch Death Battle uh, from Rooster Teeth. I don't really have any two shakes of Death Battle. I actually thought about, like... I like them because they offer things... Whether it's things I know... Like, I'm going to like date... Uh, I'm just going to say a random video. Like, the Weiss versus Mitsuru from Persona... Or the Ben 10 versus Green Lantern, which that one still shocked me because I thought for sure Ben would have won. Uh, ooh, I just realized I might have said a potential spoiler there. Uh, so I'll digress really quickly. Uh, oh, right, there you are. But I do like Death Battle because they offer like things of information I don't know about some other like comics and supers and things like that. So uh, for the sake of this video, I'm doing this in October, right? So it's pretty early in October. Not too early. But it's early in October to the point where they announced a death battle. The next death battle, at least before this video comes out. So, YouTube, by the time this video comes out, odds are the death battle I'm talking about is already out. So, it's going to be weird kind of messing with time here when I say this. Here you go. Thank you. Ugh. Hurry up. I get it.
but uh they're doing a Gojo versus Makima. And in case anybody doesn't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking Gojo from Jujutsu Kaisen and Makima from Chainsaw Man. Which didn't see that coming. Makes sense, but really didn't think that they were gonna go that far. I don't think in my recent years of knowledge do they usually do like anime character versus anime character. It's usually been like comic books or video games, so it's kinda interesting seeing this. Or if there were, then I really just can't think of any at the time being. Um, okay, what else was I doing? There was a side quest around here, right? Yeah, I gotta get that meme on from up top there. I can do that really quickly. <laughs> God, I forgot how high I was. Oof. Um, but yeah, I just want to like toss it out there. I don't know who's going to win, obviously, by the time this video. But I was thinking, because uh, some old Vitamin DGR fans have been like saying, why don't you do like reaction vids and try not to laugh challenges? And I would totally love to do it. I need to get the money for my own laptop. Although, I don't know if you viewers would like to hear someone like me being like, Yo, did you see that? That was legit. That was awesome. That was legitness. Like, things like that. Can y'all get out of the way? Seriously? Uh, but I would totally like to try it. I think I should just do it just for the experience. Uh, but that's that's all I had of it. I, I wasn't going to go too long on that tirade. Um, I need to... Oh, gosh. What's that demon? I need to make Skathak. Totally need to make Skathak for that demon conversation. So I'm going to get this Matama, Matama, Mimon real quick and then deal with it later. Uh, don't need me over there. Hello, Komokten. You are completely useless to me right now. I'll deal with you later. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm fascinated by some of the death battles just because it like offers information about characters. Some of them I don't even know. Like, I don't know a thing uh, about Gravity Falls. Like, I've never watched Gravity Falls. I know somebody's like, what, V, you haven't? No, I never did. Uh, I think during the time Gravity Falls was out, I was watching other stuff, but seeing it fight, uh, whatever his face, I think it's Bill something, the, the triangle guy, uh, fighting against uh, the thing from My Little Pony. I was like, cool, I don't know either of these guys, but I'm always willing to like learn, so. I I'm just fascinated by, I don't think Death Battle started as like some really crazy thing, it was just like, I don't know how it started, but I imagine it's just like two guys in an office. Like, I like Rooster Teeth because I used to really follow it. I kind of still do. I still follow Ch uh, Achievement Hunter, and I'm still fans of people like uh, Jeremy Dooley and Gavin Free and uh, Michael Jones and obviously Jeff Ramsey. Yes, I know somebody's probably being like, well, what about the bad things? Eh, we're not discussing the bad things here. All right, I gotta go fight Loki. Doing all these quests. Thank you. You went up there, huh? I know. Bought him last time. Won't take me long. Um, but I imagine uh, Death Battle was just started because two guys were like... <laughs> like, yeah, Fred? I think it'd be cool if Batman fought Spider-Man. Huh. Wanna go make a video about it? Sure. I don't know. That's, that's I don't know actually how Death Battle started. I got into Death Battle, like... I don't want to say late, but I definitely wasn't part of the earlier episodes. Like, I think the earliest video I remember seeing was it when premiered. I got, like I said, I got into Death Battle late, but the earliest video I saw was, I think, Batman versus Spider Man. I jumped in around the time, I, I'm trying to remember what Death Battle was. I think it was. Um. God, who did Nathan Drake fight? It was Nathan Drake versus. Did he fight Laura Cross? I think that was that one. That was the death battle. I I, I don't fully remember, but I remember it was kind of CG, like 3D CG. Uh, but I have a tendency, a desire to watch all the other death battles, but I've been kind of keeping consistent. So I was like, oh, these are fun. Kind of little time wasters. Just have fun, deal with other characters. Like, I like them, and sometimes I'll be like, oh, sweet. I get to see, like, different things. Like, uh, like I said... I've been watching other videos too. One of them that got my interest was a, I think it was Crash versus Spyro. Um, I watched it with, funny enough, my friend Jackie. Uh, and we were discussing about it. What we'll usually do is just be like, oh, let's just discuss uh, who we think would win, just for the fun of it. I try to do it with most some of my friends, but I don't know many of my other friends that really watch Death Battle anymore. In case any of my friends are watching this. If you say you do, you haven't been vocal about it, so please let me know. Um, there's a Mimon down there. Oh, I can fight Loki real quick first. Uh, I sense a demon. Don't worry. 
you're about to see a demon be gone really quickly. Um, but we talked about the death battle between Crash Bandicoot versus Spire the Dragon. We were discussing it. We were like, oh, oh well, who do we want to win? And it'd be nice to just have like a like an honest debate. There's still so many death battles I haven't seen. And I still have this mindset to like save them for if I become bigger as a content creator. I want to like do blind reactions to it. Like I want to just show unbiased ones. Uh, and like make my prediction of who I think is going to win and my ideas on how. That's actually something I want to do. Uh, forgot I was supposed to rush through this. Sorry. Um, but we watched the Crash vs. Spyro one. And we made our bets. And I'm just going to say I was right. Jackie was wrong. But I'm also surprised on why I was right. I won't spoil in case someone hasn't seen it. But I obviously made the winning bet here. That's all I'm going to say. Also, Loki, come on, man. You shouldn't be this tough. Go away. Uh, I didn't get a crit, really. Hang on. I'll just use Murakumo. There we go. I was really banking on that crit, too. Well, it didn't really take too long. So, I remember this last time, if I can focus on the game for a quick second. Last time, I didn't eat the apple. And she was like, not that I mind. So, what happens if I eat the apple this time? Did something different happen? I actually never tried it. Even when I did uh, the run around and rush through this stuff, to be fair, like I didn't do every quest throughout my, um, my farming. Some of these quests I skipped, so I honestly do not know what happens if I pick up the apple. I'm gonna try it. Dune, last time when I played on the episode, she was like, Oh, well, I'm glad you didn't do it, but I wouldn't mind if you did. <laughs> so, what happens if I eat it? <sighs> you took a bite of the golden apple, but no apparent change has occurred. <sighs> Seems your heart is still human and couldn't hold out against temptation. You're upset by that? But seeing as you're not Hobino, the effect of the golden apple seems weak. Maybe it wasn't me in the first place. Wait, so nothing happened? It was literally just a waste of time? Huh. I guess it kind of makes sense. I'm half a god kind of deal, so I guess gods are usually... A well, I don't know. Not all gods are immortal. Hey. Especially in this game. I've been beating so many of these gods, I can't really say that they're immortal. <laughs> but I guess because I'm a Nahobino doesn't work, that's kind of weak. Feels like a bit of a cop out excuse. I would imagine to see, like, I don't know, like, turn to gold, or I don't know, it'd be like the episode of SpongeBob where, uh, the old episode of SpongeBob where Duck was like, Well, no shame on you being mortal. I shall make you a god, or something like that. And he blasts SpongeBob, he comes all buff. Like, that wasn't what I expected. It's like, Wait, Neptune, I have a better idea. God, seriously, Tom Kenny, you're such a great voice actor. Ugh. You do not get enough credit. Oh, if you don't, or if you do, then you need more, honestly. Yes, I am going on too many of these rants. I need to focus. Uh, but man, I kind of... Well, you know what? I was thinking about that. Some of these subquests, I literally just kind of rushed through or didn't, uh, I just didn't do. Because I was curious about, like, if there would be any differences. Uh, differences, so... It might be nice since I'm actually doing this for the sake of getting the true end. If it is necessary to get the true end, I should do it. Yes. Right, right, right. She wants money. Yeah, we know. Uh, there's a Mimon over here. I technically can just rush through this and go for the Mimon later. There's still so many to collect. Ugh. And they're necessary too. Why did I say it like that? They're necessary because I need them for bombs, and bombs will help make me stronger. Because unfortunately, at level 99, in case any new viewers forgotten, I doubt at this point. But uh, I can't, I can't grow any stronger. So I think it's a good idea that before I fight Demi Boy, I just like juice myself with every bomb and incense I got. So I'm, I'm gonna adamantly refuse to use any bombs or incenses. Incense I. What's the plural of incense? Just incense. I think the portal of incense is just incense. But I refuse to use any of those bad boys. Wait a minute. Unless the quest says otherwise. Uh, Grimoires. Glory Crystals. Nah, nothing. Okay. Let's say, if any of these give me, like, 
bombs the instance and I gotta pay attention. Great, I don't think I'm at 99, so I could probably do these. Totally, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did it. I'm awesome. Hi there. I already have you, though, so what's the point? Like, get out of my... Alright, well... I already have Edun. I was kind of hoping for a different dialogue. I remember that from, uh... Was it last episode? We did the Artemis fight and Cleo, and she's like, Well, you already have our essence. Well, uh... Way to be a workaholic. Um, okay, I gotta go talk to you again. Uh... I guess I could just rush and grab these Mimon. There's so many I skipped. It's so bad. Uh, what I think I might do off-camera viewers is... Eh, well... We already gone to the ringer. I already showcased all the Mimon I've been collecting. It really won't take me long to like re get everything. What I should do actually, since I'm here for a demon conversation, I should turn. What do I have? I should turn my Okuni Nushi into Skathak if I can. Uh, whoop, not that button. I make Skathak? Where is Skathak? Uh, let's see. This would be a. Oh, there we go. Uh, with Okuni Nushi if possible. Do you take Okuni Nushi? That's the only demon I want to get rid of. No other demons. There's a lot of demon conversation. Wait. Uh, with Alia? No. Uh, well, maybe. I might think about it. I like Alia, though. Technically, I could get Alia back. Um, no. No, I don't want to give up my, my really favorited demons. Take Garuda? Uh, I don't, don't want to. Hmm. I know you guys take uh, Okuni Nushi, really? Lame. All right then. Uh, what about a uh, Kahulan? Does Kahulan have a thing with? I don't know if Kahulan has a thing with Satanta. I'll make Kahulan. Let's try it. And then if not, then I can always downgrade him back. So give you this, 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 and. This. Boom. Somebody's like, you're wasting money, V. It's like, ah, I got plenty of stuff. This is reborn mode. I don't think I have to worry about money for a good minute. Good to meet you. Or rather, I don't think I have to worry about money at all. Mm. Uh, uh, yeah, screw it. Uh, actually, greatly increase the damage of the next strength base or increases the damage that's Pierce. What would be better? I guess Impaler, because... Uh, force through things. Even though this is a temporary demon. Alright, let's move on. Return. I shall return. But yeah, Jackie's not the only uh, martial artist that I've been watching. He was definitely the first one, but I've been just... It's this, like... I don't know. It's like... Who someone, and someone best, like, fight scenes, like... Best Jackie Chan fight scenes. Best Donnie Yen fight scenes. I've been watching some of Jackie Chan and Jet Li, who's another martial artist that... i actually be honest with you viewers, I haven't really seen too many of Jet Li's films, but I like Jet Li. Uh, I remember seeing, I think it's called... Oh gosh, was it Unchained? Unbroken? Unsomething. I, I remember that uh, Romeo Must Die... Um, the Fearless, oh, I think actually it's just called Fearless. Uh, the Legend, which I, I actually kind of personally like that one. It's a bit more campy, but I like that one. I like Jet Li because he never like, and I realize this might seem a bit controversial. So let me start by saying I do not mean to attack anyone when I say this. I'm not trying to be mean, nor am I trying to insinuate anything when I say this. This isn't one of those, I'm not this, but kind of deals. I'm just being fair with you guys, but... What I like with Jet Li, not saying compared to others, but what I like about Jet Li is for a good number of some of his films, especially his older films, he never changes his roots. Like, he doesn't feel like he's Americanized, if you know what I mean. Oh, sweet. Thanks. I need those. Like, he doesn't feel like he changes. And, and a lot more people do it, too. But they don't feel like they ch He doesn't feel like he changes who he is for the sake of, like, glory or fame or anything like that. Uh, I'm not gonna personally say who which martial art or martial artist I've seen that have, but uh, I don't know. It just was. It just feel, feel, 
felt pretty appropriate to say that much. Uh, let's just warp a little closer. Um, right, I forgot. I have to do that uh, mission for Silky, right? I gotta fight eight of these things or get eight of these things or whatever. There's also a meme on it there, too. Ugh, there's just so much to do. Despite me knowing what I have to do, I just feel like there's too much to do. You're fine. You might potentially help me find some more bombs and essences. Because all I really want is more bombs and essences. Uh, is this the way? Uh-huh, uh-huh, like it? No. That's not how the song goes, is it? Is that's the way? Eh. Oh, you detect something? Hopefully it's good. No, my luck. Probably not. Oh, it was good. Cool, thanks. Oh, he does another one, now. You good. Thank Wait, that's useless. Oh, it's underneath here. Darn it. Oh, that's useless. There's a chance it gives me essences of bombs that'll be necessary. It's actually worth doing this now, because I know the demi Fiend fight is going to be rough. I don't know if I want to, like, try it this up. I don't think I want to try it again this episode. Probably not going to stand a chance. You know what? I'm not going to do it. I'd rather be waiting until the very end. Right, this shouldn't take too long. Oh, right. I forgot about that dreadful scream. One. One more go. Really shouldn't take too long. But yeah, like Jet Lee, some of his films were cool too. But this leads me to what is probably a hot take. Um, I remember when I was younger, I was so enthusiastic about having a Jet Lee cross Jackie Chan like crossover, like a meetup, maybe a fight kind of deal. I thought it'd be the coolest thing. Like martial artists that I know and like being able to fight each other. Oh, I thought it would be dope as heck. Heck, I still to this day, unless there's something, I still hope that there's going to be a Donnie Yen versus uh, Iko Uweas, which, if people don't know, another uh, martial artist I like, Iko Uweas, who lately, by the way, I want to say, I mean, do you, do whatever you want, but why are you always doing all these villain roles? I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm more accustomed to heroes, because I'm obviously more of a hero mindset, but, uh, hero-loving mindset. But, I don't know, man, he's doing a lot of, like, villain roles, with the exception of that Wu Assassin switch. Uh, the first episode was alright. Every other episode, I didn't like. What's funny is I like probably the people in the in the show. This is not a segue. I'll get to Wu Assassins later. But, let me let me get back to my original thing. Why is my hand so bright? Wait. Why is my hand so bright? Y'all see it? Why is my right hand so bright? Oh, so that's the hand you use a lot of. Wait, what is that supposed to mean? Hey, Ame, did you just say that? No, I didn't say anything. No, seriously, why is my hand brighter than the left? Whatever. I guess it doesn't really have any, like, effect on my gameplay, so... That's right, come here. But yeah, Forbidden Kingdom, when I heard that that movie was going to be done, I at first was enthusiastic. I didn't really care about the story. I don't even remember much of the story. The only uh, moment I remember vividly was the moment that I think probably every martial arts lover really cared about was seeing Jackie Chan going against Jet Li. And I don't know if you... Uh, well, I don't know. If there's any viewers that understand this feeling I have, then please let me know in the comment section. Twitch, you can let me know on Discord. But I was super hyped finding out that these two are going to fight against each other. Oh, I thought it was so good. I'm... It's a very old movie, so if this... I don't want to ruin the experience for people, but guys, this is a movie that came out like in the early 2000s, so that was at least like 10 or 20 years ago. So I don't think I have to worry about potential spoilers. I'm not going to say anything too controversial, so you don't have to worry about it. But man, that fight was so lackluster, and it was it. Now, in case people want to see it for themselves, feel free to mute me for a minute. Just turn on the captions. But oh gosh, I was so disappointed. It didn't even end in a proper victory. It was a cool like showcase of the skill. And it was one of those things where I was like, man, if these two went at it, oh, man, it would be the most epic thing. But I was kind of hoping for, like, a really cool, like, epic fight. Like, they do all these kinds of fights uh, outside, like, in their own respective, uh, I was about to say, in respective games, in their own respective movies. Like, 
for example, I'm going back to Jackie Chan, that roof scene in Who Am I, where he fights uh, that large uh, guy that's able, I can't remember what their names are, but those two, uh, one of them that has like the earring and the really large dude who could do like a perfect standing split, which was astounding by the way, I, I can't even do that trying or dreaming. Ooh, free crit. Free crits! Oh, I didn't get a crit. Really? You didn't get a crit either? Alright, well, whatever. I did my job. I could have used Mega Dolon, but meh. But man, I was just so, like, ups Like, that fight scene in Who Am I was, like, really good. That rooftop fight scene. In fact, if you viewers don't even want to watch the movie, I can convince you to watch it by just going on YouTube. Uh, which I'm assuming some of you guys watching this will be. Uh, but just go on YouTube, look up Jackie Chan, Who Am I, and look up Rooftop Fight Scene. Well, I bet you if you look up Fight Scene alone, you'll probably find it. But, yeah, that fight scene's just super good, too. Another crowning moment of Jackie Chan's capabilities. Like, you have moments like that, and Jet Li in, uh, the one, uh, well, I, I think, uh... Eh, well, the one was alright. Trying to think of a better fight scene with Jack, uh, Jet Li. I just couldn't think of it, probably because I haven't seen enough of his movies just yet. Um, but, like, when you think about them fighting, like, how capable they are in the movies, uh, wrong button, but then you find out that they just do, like, they still showcase their skills and abilities, don't get me wrong, they do not do badly, they are still extremely talented, they can still probably destroy every pressure point in my body and then some, they could break all my limbs in a heartbeat, and I'm not trying to say I want to fight them, never, ever, ever, nobody in their right mind would. I'm just saying, I really, I don't know, it was just, is this maybe the bloodlust, not, I don't want to say bloodlust, but the sadistic side of me that just wants to crave more violence and action, like, I feel like we could have done a little more. Because, even worse, because I don't really remember anything else of that movie, except that one scene. I don't even remember what the plot of it was. All I know is some dude that, like, I don't know if he gets, like, sent to some other world or whatever, I don't even remember. Some blonde dude, like, gets involved in some nonsense and eventually he deals with Jet Li and Jackie Chan. That's that's literally all I remember. I think he goes to save a girl or something. I don't know. Yeah, that's all I got. I don't even remember how Forbidden Kingdom is, but that just shows how little interest I had in it. Like, I remember things like the tuxedo more. The tuxedo... Eh, it was... It was a movie. I didn't mind it. It, it did what it set out to do. But... I don't know, man. I feel kind of bad. But there's somebody, somebody's probably like, dude, Forbidden King was like legit. Eh, well, agree to disagree. I mean, it's not my cup of tea. If it's your favorite movie or you like it, then by all means. I'm not saying I hate it. I just think it could have been better. But if you like the movie, then feel free to like your movie. Everyone's entitled to their own stupid opinion. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. That's okay. That was a bit. I was totally joking. Seriously? Oh, God. We need to have a chat. I would be any other things to do in this area i think i've got it all what do you have to say for yourself i'm sorry hee ho all right any more meme in this area other than the way out uh no and i know i can't get the last meme on because it's locked but i guess we could just backtrack to the city hopefully getting some instances from these things maybe preferably some bombs Eh, sutras okay uh, which, by the way, viewers, I know I did it before. I'm probably going to do it again off camera. I want to add more sutras and uh, sutras to the characters, too. Because it could be really useful using sutras on people. But I realize, uh, not everybody has, like, max, uh, skills and stuff. And I just got these sutras lying around. Like I said, I'll probably be doing this right before the Demi-Fiend fight. I want to commit to that bit. But yeah, if you viewers are like super into martial arts movies, please, by all means, like, let's chat about it. Uh, there's actually a game I'm trying to find. Uh, I used to have it. And I remember, I don't think it was in this playthrough, but I was going to spoil this as a surprise, but I want to give viewers like a taste of something to come. And I think of all the videos I do, you guys seem to really like my Shibigami 5 playlist uh, more than some of my other current videos. So I figured it's the best way to like talk about it. But there is a PS1 Jackie Chan game I am trying to find. Uh, I remember playing it when I was younger. I remember having a copy. 
And I do have a copy for it. I don't even know why I'm saying it like I don't know what it is. It's called Jackie Chan Stuntmaster. Uh, I still have a copy of it, but my copy doesn't work. And for context for it, even though lately, at least by the time this video has been doing, I've been doing Sonic video, uh, Sonic Frontiers, I still have been trying to do some more one visits. I'm actually trying to get into... I realize I haven't been doing enough one visits lately, so I'm trying to get back into that habit because I've been doing a lot of other playlists and stuff. But I was like, you know what? I haven't done like a martial arts like video game in a minute. And I had a thought between doing that, Shamu. I still have a PS2 copy of Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, which I know somebody's like, what? Yes, there is a video game. Oh, God, height skill me. Uh, there is a video game of Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Uh, don't ask me whether it's good or not. I don't even remember, like, why I... Well, I remember why I bought it. Because it was found at an old retro store. Uh, so look forward to that for a future one visit. But, um... I'm saving that for a rainy day. Because I think that'll be worth it. Although it kind of compels me to watch the movie first to see if I remember. Because I don't remember Crouching Tiger at all. Except for, I think, uh, not Michelle Yeoh, but the other... Well, she's lovely too. I like her. But the other... Uh, woman. I can't remember what her name is, but I remember when I was younger, I used to have a thing for her. She was cute. Um, oh, Demeter's thing's ready? Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know how the game is, but like I said, we'll save that for one visit. But I wanted to do Jackie Chan Stuntmaster because it was going to be a good segue. In fact, funny enough, while I was talking about Jackie Chan Adventures, I was actually like, I know I did it today and it's a good segue, but I legitimately had half the mind to like not talk about it before I was doing this. I was like, I should probably just, like, save it for Jackie Chan. But then I realized my Jackie Chan copy didn't work because this previous Saturday, it passed a while ago. But this previous Saturday, I tried uh, Jackie Chan Stuntmaster in my PS2. My PS2 was like, oh, the PlayStation disc is no longer able to be read. It did the whole, uh, if you remember this, it did, like, the, the screen turn red. It had the red cubes. And it was like, ooh. Like, I, I can't do the sound effect right. It was like the really creepy, like eerie red uh, backdrop screen. I was like, hey, yeah, your copy doesn't work. And I tried it. I tried wiping it. And unfortunately, I can't find Jackie Chan Stuntmaster. I got it lucky when I found it or I had it for a long time. I don't even remember how I had it. But now I can't find it. And I'm pretty sure if I look for it online, it's probably crazy expensive. I mean, I imagine, right? It's a Jackie Chan PS1 stunt game, a uh, fighting game. There's no way the game's not going to be cheap, right? I mean, if it is, then please let me know. I do want to do that for one visit. I think it'd be fun to try it. I don't remember how it goes, actually. I just remember having it. Oh, I do remember how I got it. My uncle had a copy of it. We were in, uh, I think we were in Columbia, Maryland at the time. Also, what the heck? Was there not a thing over here? All right, whatever. We were in Columbia, Maryland at the time, and my uncle gave it to me. Uh, I don't even know why he has it. I just remember... I want to get it for myself and he was like all right here you go he gave it to me for my birthday like sweet but what's worse what's messed up is that i don't remember playing it at all of course though this may lead to potential theory that my uncle just gave me a busted game but eh whatever yeah i i remember like when i pulled it out from my closet way back when i was like i wonder how this game goes i saw like not 10 seconds literally but like a very short brief like playthrough of it Oh gosh, viewers! I, I, I'm, I'm determined to finding this game. I am determined, and I hope it's not crazy expensive. I really hope I can find it for cheap. If I can't, then all well. I would like to have like, uh, I don't know. If I get bigger as a content creator, I like to have like a, a series of days where I just play good or bad martial arts games. And I know somebody's probably being like, well, what about Shamu? And that's why it's like, what do you mean? Shamu's awesome. Uh, I don't really remember Shamu. I don't even think I really got the chance to play Shamu. I know of Shamu. Uh, but I don't think I've honestly ever played Shamu. I know from what people told me, it's basically like uh, a martial arts film in video game form. But yeah, I've never really played Shamu, any of them, so... I know somebody's out there's like, ooh, potential for you, uh, future one visit confirmed. I don't know, maybe, if Shamu's good. I don't know how I go about doing it, because I think it was on GameCube, right? Like, is Shamu on consoles? I don't know, but that's that's something I'm saving up for. I'm trying to do, like, a bunch of martial arts games. I have a few, uh, well, I have, like, maybe one, other than Crouching Tiger. I can't really think of any other 
martial arts games I have that are like, you know, that kind of actual like martial arts stuff. Uh, where's the next meme? I'm just gonna run through and grab it real quick. It won't take me long to beat Lamu. I can't end up beating, uh, th getting to the third shot this episode. Um, whoa! Ooh. Oh, sorry. I just realized uh, I overreacted there. I apologize. I forgot. Uh, my fear heights kicked in. All I saw was the abyss, and my stupid self decided to jump. I know I don't take fall damage, but it still got me. I see you. <laughs> jumped out of my chair. I know some viewers are like, B, you realize you just... Yeah, I did. Uh, I wasn't smart. I know. I sometimes have those moments. Okay, by the time I'm done with this, I should be at 99 Mimon, right? Where's this other Mimon? Down here? Oh, above me. I am grateful, though. Redoing the Mimons, like, still gives you the rewards because I think it's very beneficial, especially trying to, like, farm to do super bosses. Like, even if you weren't doing the Demi Fiend fight, hell, for Shiva alone, I know, like, this will be beneficial. Or any, uh, boss fight, really. Like, why settle to just be at the level you need? Why not just destroy your enemies? Oh, well, that's useless. Uh, next Mimon is any more in this area? No. There are one, or there are. There is one there, two there, actually. Alright, then we can use the War Pillar and warp to a closer spot. Ooh, right. God, I was technically all the way back here. Um, let's see. I need to also go backtrack anyway to do the subquests. Um, yeah, let's go here. This will be beneficial. No matter what, though, I am gonna, like, at least take down Lamu. I am gonna beat this area for sure this episode. If I can't start the third one this episode, I damn sure am gonna beat the second area. Especially because I can't stand this music. Oh, I hate this song. I know, Atlas. What, Atlas? What happened? You have bangers, but why did you make this? This doesn't feel me. This feels me with more dread. You know what? This might be on purpose, right? Because I just realized this is like an apocalyptic world. Or whatever. Festival with demons. If this is your way to, like, inspire, like, fear and dread, then you know what? You've done well, Atlas. Because uh, this song is not cash money. What's under here, huh? Oh, there you are. How many Mimon I found? Technically over 200, but eh, who's counting? Or I guess I should say I found the Mimon several times. Eh, it's confusing. One more over... Yar. I realize this is a bit late that I'm talking about this. But I realize I also might have... I hope I didn't. I might have invertly attacked the Shallon Showdown. Uh, which I used to like a lot, and then I kind of forgot about. Although, to be fair, uh, viewers, yeah, woo yeah. Uh, human form. Yeah, right? Oh, man. I totally gotta, like, do, a, like, a Child Crushes video. I think that'd be dope, but I don't know what to, like, have in the background or who to get with me. I want to do that for, like, if I ever get into pod... I should, actually. But if I want to... If I get into, like, podcasting, I would totally love to just have a moment where I just, like, discuss Child Crushes. Oh, I would totally be on it. There's so many I know and so many I forgot. It'd be fun to talk with a like-minded individual or a group of people about it. Hashtag future goals here with Vitamin. Um, but yeah, no. Shaolin Shodown was like legit. And funny enough, I remember my favorite character was actually Raimundo. And a little bit Clay, too. I didn't really care too much for Omi. A.K.A. the, the Krillin slash cheese ball of the game. He's basically like yellow Krillin. He's basically like if Krillin was in The Simpsons. Which actually might be more of a real statement than I realized. Uh, but similar to Jackie Chan, Shaolin Showdown was about these like four like youngsters, these four kids who were training at Shaolin Temple uh, to fight Jack Spicer and the forces of evil, which all I remember was Jack Spicer was like the machine guy, and eventually there was Chase Young, who I don't know if I'm misremembering, but I think Chase Young was the same voice as Max from the Goofy movies. Uh... I think he was also Noel from Final Fantasy 13 too, which 
Yes, I'm sorry, I don't remember that game, but oh well. Uh, there's one, two, three. Oh, there's so many I missed back at the shipyard. Holy moly. I did not think I was doing that badly when it came to the Mimon. Alright, well, whatever. Back to the shipping container. Container yard, here we go. And no, I am not going to talk to Bane. Don't ask me again. Uh, there's a Mimon in here, right? Oh, okay. 97 bucks. What a ripoff. Apparently there's a Mimon over here I missed, huh? Oh, up there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Alright, how many uh, Mimon here? Is it four that I'm missing here? One to the side over there, one there, four, five, six, seven. Wow, there's seven meme on here. Holy moly, I really did badly this time. I've got to do better in the next area. Uh, in here, right? I totally forgot some of these meme on. Now you find me. What do I do with all this glory? I have 15,000 glory. Is there any perk to it? Is there any perks even having this much glory? I think it's a waste. I don't think there's literally any benefit to having excess glory. It was cool at first because I was like, all right, as I was farming, I was like, cool, I need a farm. But I realized getting so many small and large glory crystals, plus doing the uh, abscesses, I didn't really even need to like go to ham. I used a bunch just because I was curious because I, rem I don't remember where. I remember seeing a Reddit post about like, I think, uh, having extra glory was nice, but I realized it was fake, so now I don't know. But I don't really know if there's a perk to, like, having excess glory. I think it's probably just, like, waste. Not up there, huh? Oh, wow, I forgot about that Mimon, too. Uh, but there we go. Well, it's still a good thing, because with all the Mimon collected, I'm not gonna have to go Mimon funding again. And, of course, someone's like, being like, hey, are you going to play this game for a third time? No, no, I think I'm... I'm not saying burnt out, but there's no way I'm playing this game fully again. I want to do my Persona Marathon. Which, uh, speaking of, uh, yes, this is my obligatory uh, Persona shout-out. Uh, which is definitely going to name or date this video, because hopefully by the time some viewers watching this, we have the new ones. But it was recently that they dropped trailers for more on Tactica and more on Reload. Uh... I want to... I'm, I'm getting invested in Tactica. I already was hooked for Reload, but I'm actually kind of getting invested in Tactica. I'm curious on how it goes. And I'm obviously... I usually play my games on the hardest difficulty, unless it's automatic. Where's the Mimon? Where are you? Where the flip is this Mimon? Oh, right there. There you are. How'd you miss me? Again, I'm small, but whatever. But yeah, um... They dropped gameplay, uh, more gameplay, as well as another Nyahu News. Yes, that's literally what it's called. Uh, which is basically just a, like, not a Nintendo Direct, but like an Atlas Direct to show off Persona Tactica. I do not want to watch any more. I do kind of want to go blind. And I'm probably not going to play it right away, because there's probably a bunch of other games I have to play. I still need to beat, like, Star Ocean and stuff. Uh, but I am looking forward to Tactica reason I bring this up with the whole uh, difficulty thing is how do I get in here? There's one here. I need to get inside here. Which means I must have missed one at some point. Oh, yeah. Wow, I missed you? Wow, that's crazy. I can't believe I forgot this one. I'm pretty sure I ran through here. Oh, well, whatever. Memories are starting to bleed into each other. Um, but... I play my games on very hard difficulties. Not impossible. Like, if it's the point where it's like one hit death, I'm not doing that. Because I know me. I'm going to make a dumb blunder and get hurt. It's going to happen one way or another. But for the sake of Tactica, just to briefly tell people, like, they made a very interesting thing for the hard difficulty, which I think is called Risky. Where uh, you don't get as many turns to, like, swap out characters. Because in Tactica, to just briefly talk about Tactica, if you want to go blind in this, feel free to ignore me. Uh, otherwise, if you're curious about the rant about to go on, then continue to listen. Uh, but in Tactica, they offer, I think, five or six difficulties, starting with Safety, which is the easiest, uh, and ending with Risky. Um, 
Now, there's not too much crazy differences other than like obviously enemies hitting harder, uh, you don't do as much damage, that kind of thing. But one of the things that's crucial is in Persona 5 Tactica, they give you the ability to do baton passes, but it's different from how normal Persona 5 works. Uh, for viewers who know, Persona 5 usually, if you like attack an enemy's weakness, you basically get them one more. You can tag an ally and pass the baton, giving them like a temporary buff, which was made far more better and useful in Royale. Seriously, oh, chef's kiss. Alice, you figured something nice out. Um, but in, uh, in Tactica, they changed it. So Tactica is useful to like swap out a character for another. Because if you viewers don't know, in Tactica, you can only have, I think, three people at a time. You'll be able to eventually unlock all the Fantasies as well as its new character, Arena, as big as her name. Which, I'm curious on this. I didn't look it up. I'm reaching here. But I follow her as well as Sayu, aka uh, the person who's doing Akihiko in the new Persona 3 Reload. Which, by the way, if you don't know Sayu, yes, he's a VTuber who is currently uh, the voice actor for Akihiko in Persona 3 Reload. AKA, I'm already like looking forward to it already. Uh, but I may be wrong on this. I hope not, because I like to think that my ears haven't gotten that bad yet. But I'm a Lee, AKA Lee and Lee, AKA uh, Monarch, AKA a lot of things. Uh, I think she's also getting involved in Persona. Cause I'm pretty sure she's the voice actress for Arena, right? I don't know where I heard it. I remember reading and it was saying something about how she was going to be the voice actress for it. And I hope I'm right on this. If I'm wrong, then whatever. I'll, I apologize, but if I'm right. That's kind of hella dope. Finding out some of the people I watch. God, man, I wish I got bigger so I can also jump into not even Persona. Like, I'm not even saying this as a rise. I wouldn't mind it. I would love to be involved in a Persona, even as an extra. I'll be the guy who does like the welcome to Yogan Jaya. Now approaching Yogan Jaya. Like, I'll be that, or I'll be the narrator for Catherine. But, I don't know, I think it'd be just nice to get involved in something like that. Just for... Less of getting, like, paid and more just fun. Like, I just want to do it. This is the experience. But no, I... I This is... I don't want to say it, like... I don't want to make it sound like I'm creep... I'm not trying to sound creepy or anything, but... I feel proud, because... These guys, and girls, and everyone, like, all these voice actors and actresses, they do their best, right? Like, granted, maybe I'm just being, like, starstruck, so it's all fine and dandy, but humor me. But I kind of dig how these guys are, like, they're giving it their all in voice acting, and they really clearly have fun. And then I also still see them, like, still have time to, like, stream and stuff. Granted, I find it funny that I say this, because I haven't watched a lot of their streams lately, only because life has been happening. Uh, but I used to be, like, super into their- oh, I still am uh, into their streams. I mean, I still follow them on Twitch, obviously. I don't uh, really watch them on YouTube, but that's also because I mainly watch their stuff on Twitch. Or listen to their stuff. At very least, I'll listen to their stuff on Twitch. Realize I just went on a complete different tangent about uh, VTubers and stuff. But I digress from it. Don't worry, I'm moving on. I wonder if this is my uh, beginning, my entry saga. I'm just a random guy playing random games and talking about these random moments, and then eventually... But it's like, hey, you know what? You said you want to be a VTuber. Why don't you give it a shot? I don't even know the first thing about being a VTuber. And there's not really many VTubers, or rather any except for those two. And to be fair, I only followed them only because I knew about some of their stuff before they were VTubers. Like, I got into Sayu late, but I remember watching his stuff. The only reason I even knew who he was was because I remember getting to some dub anime, and I liked his performance as, uh, I think his name's Twilight. And Sleepy Princess in a Demon Castle. Uh, and when I was getting into more, like, looking up more voice actors and actresses, I was like, oh, this is dope. And then same for Lee and Lee. Because I remember, like, subscribing to her songs because she did really covers. I think the first one I think she did was a cover of Spice and Wolf. Uh, the OP for Spice and Wolf. And I haven't watched some of her stuff lately, but I still like it. But again, I think it's just biased because I really like Spice and Wolf. Which, by the way, viewers, uh, for any fans that know, Spice Wolf's coming back. Hopefully by the time this video is out. Nah, probably not, right? It's a different art direction, but, oh gosh, to be able to hear uh, the Japanese and English. I hope, like, I know the Japanese voice actor and actresses. Because the Japanese voice actor, funny enough, is the Japanese voice actor for Joker. As well as Kazuma from Konozuba. Uh, it'll be dope to hear him once again play Lawrence. And then... The Japanese voice actress, Ami Koshimizu, or Koshimizu-san, uh, 
I know that she voices uh what's her face in Dragon Quest XI, uh Jade as well as she voices um I'm just really shooting blanks here. Uh I think she voices Yukiko in Persona 4 as well as uh Kill Maria in that what is it that Isekai one-hit sister anime or whatever it's called. Still haven't watched it, but I remember hearing clips. I should really actually watch it at some point. Just to kind of trash anime any love. <laughs> okay. Um, but they are the ones that did the Japanese voices for uh Lawrence and Hollow. Uh for those who are curious, Spice Wolf is just this like kind of this gentle but still dramatic romance drama uh about this normal boy named Lawrence Kraft who wants to make it as a merchant. He makes a deal with uh is there any more Bimon, by the way? Sorry, I'm Kind of like went on a different segue here. I think I got all the meme on here except for that one. Cool. So we can just do the side quest and keep it moving. Cool. Um, I go over there. Go over there again. Can't remember. Oh, I remember. Um, it'd be dope to like hear them once again. Uh, I, I mean, I know it's them. Like the two of them are confirmed to being it. But yeah, it's just basically just the Lawrence is traveling around trying to make a buck and Hollow, the wise wolf. Who was definitely one of my childhood crushes. Uh, she helps him and aids him. And I don't know. This, the, the chemistry between the two is so good. I love it. It's one of those shows where it doesn't even need to be like overly dramatic. And despite the... Like I have no real crazy preference to anime. At least as of late. But I like how compared to some of the other anime I watched at the time. That Spice of Wolf was just out of nowhere. It was like hey we exist. And I watched it. I was like wow oh, this is actually really good. I knew it was good to the point where I was hesitant to finish it, but heck yeah, we got a season 3 coming, so I'm looking forward to that bad boy. Uh, but I hope they bring back the English voice actors too. I believe uh, the voice, the male voice actor for Lawrence, I hope I'm not wrong on this, is uh, J. Michael Tatum, uh, who's always got like that kind of like gentle, not fathery voice. I'm not trying to say he's old, but he's got like a very like, good, ah man, like a very good voice that fits Lawrence. I can't really describe what better, like, like not Big Brother, like Old Man. I can't really describe that kind of voice, but it's pleasant to listen to. It's a very pleasant voice. And then, of course, because I don't just pick favorites, but obviously, who steals the show is definitely going to be Brina Palencia. Or Palencia. I didn't really hope I didn't butcher her name. I apologize if you hear this. She voices a holo, and I'm looking forward to hearing her again. I think, honestly, just like, if you just want to hear some good voice acting, yeah, it's a bit aged, but I recommend checking out the dub for Spice of Wolf. Just at least a clip. You don't have to watch it fully. If you stick with it, then by all means, sweet. And if you already are aware, then sweet. Double sweet. But I think it's worth giving it a check out, at least to listen to the dubs. Also realize, what am I doing? I need to, like, actually start doing stuff. Give me a crit because I'm awesome. Eh, well, whatever. Still did it. Oh, Grimoires. Those are useless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm done. See ya. Okay, next we gotta talk to Demeter. Then we gotta see with Kahulan if I can, um... Let's see. I almost forgot about that. Kahulan, see if I can get something for Satanta. I don't think I do. Who's closer? I think the Demeter one. Yeah, the Demeter one's closer. Do the Demeter. Talk to Satanta. If not with Kahulan, then I'll make Skathak. Uh, take down Lamu, and then probably be an episode. Actually, most likely will be an episode. I don't know. We'll see. I'll rush it through. Atlas viewers, uh, which is some of you guys. How many of you guys... Hmm feel like I've talked about this, actually, but how would you feel if they made, like... Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna, like, just rip this bandit out here. I'm right in your face! Look at my giant, beautiful eyes! My lovely, silky, blonde hair! And my fruit thing that keeps... Seriously, what is that? I don't know what that thing's called. I've seen it before at, like, stores like Michael's and stuff. I don't know what that thing is called. The thing that, like, holds fruits and... Opery and stuff. I don't know what that thing's called. 
That's not what it's called. I want to know what that thing is. Eh, well, I'll leave it in the comment section. I know somebody will hopefully help me out. Uh, what's next? Okay, talk to, uh, Satanta. But, um... Alice fans, uh... Does anyone know... This is a question, actually. Not even a statement, it's a question. Anyone know if we're due to get any more information on Metaphor Refantasio? Uh... It was announced a while back, obviously. And I know Atlas is currently on the whole, like, Persona 3, Relo, Persona 5, Tactica thing. All power to you. I'm not trying to get impatient, because I know somebody's like, Dude, V, we didn't even get Tactica yet. By the time this video is coming out. Like, slow down. I, I get it. I get it. I'm patient. I'm just curious because I was hoping we get a bit more... Oh, uh, I'm going the wrong way. I was hoping we get some more information on uh, Metaphor Refantasia. Curious on how it's going to be. I'm looking forward to it. I, I really think it might end up being... If it does come out next year, 2024, which I hope it does. Again, we'll definitely date this video. Uh, but if it does come out, I think it legitimately might be my game of the year. And again, next year, there's a bunch of games I'm looking forward to. I mean, there's still Reload, there's Grand Blue Fantasy, uh, Relink, uh, if we ever get it, uh, Dragon Quest Twelve, which I'm, Square, what's going on, man? Please give me Dragon Quest Twelve. I mean, I still do want to stream Dragon Quest Eleven. But, oh gosh, I would love Dragon Quest XII so much right now. They've been very quiet. Alright, I don't know if Hulan actually has a thing, so I hope so. I hope this isn't a waste of time. Otherwise, I'll just make a... Oh, Bion has a thing with him? Oh, I... Okay, I didn't know this, actually. I thought it was going to be Kahulan. Alright, what's up, Bion? Well, it isn't Tatanta. Hey. You're Bjorn. Is that you? Bjorn the Cool? Good. Yes, and I am that cool indeed. You're quite a ways from your hometown, uh, homeland now. Never thought I'd run into you out here. Planning to make a new name for yourself? Accomplish some more grand feats? Or are you just another aspirant to the throne, eh? It's like all the others. Hmm. I'm only wandering the lands to train myself. I have no interest in a throne. The only throne I like is the throne that I usually take deuces on. You know, it helps relieve your body. I don't expect to see anyone atop a king's throne. It might be you. All right. Please, I am certainly no king. Quite the contrary. I was looking for a liege to serve myself. True, a knight needs his king. A king needs his knight. Like it also needs his knight rest. And his nighttime bath stories. I admit that doesn't suit you better. So, did you find a worthy liege to serve? Yes, I did. Yes. No, you didn't. Yes, I honestly did. I'm lying. Really? Are you talking about that blue-haired demon next to you? I knew he was no ordinary demon, but is he truly strong enough to be a king? Hmm? Power alone does not a king make. It is what a man does with power that marks him a king. Oh? So how do you feel about Mufasa from Lion King? He was a great king. And Scar? He's a terrible king. I don't even want to call him a kid. Fair enough. How do you imagine he'll wield his power? All right. I'll find out soon enough. How about you? Would you like to join us? Hell yeah. <clears throat> tempting, but, uh, tempting, but I must decline. Aw. I'm a long way to go before I enter anyone's service. First, I must temper my skills against the fiends and foams that roam this weather world. Good. Hulan's hound still hungers for battle, eh? Yes. I'd expect nothing less. I'll be praying for you and your king's victory from the shadows. But I'd like you to have a parting gift. Ooh, sweet. Thanks. Awesome. Man, I really wish I... Damn it. I really wish I'd known that. I would have been having so many strength bombs. Oh, that would have been so good if I knew. But I still don't know if... Uh, if Kahulan and Tanta have a thing. You know what? What if I save the game? If I save the game, right? And then reload that game to get the enemy to spawn back. Do you think that maybe uh, we could try it again? Let's try it again. It's worth the uh, experiment. Wrong button. I want to see because uh, I want to see if Kahulan has a thing. If you don't give me strength bombs... 
What does uh, uh, Scabat give me? Scabat gave me, I think, incense. Hoping Cahoolin gives me something. If not, then I'm just going to be like, well, screw you. I don't need to do this fight. Yeah, I know this is going a little extra time, but hey, it's good for the experiment. That's the beauty of this game. We all experiment and hope for things. Get a little reward on the side. Yo, ho indeed. Oh, oh, well, eh, I don't care about that. Excuse me, noobs. Please don't let this be a waste of time. Please give me more bombs and incenses. Oh, man, how did I squeeze through you? All right, come here, you. I hope this works out. Nope. Oh, Kulin doesn't have anything. Uh, I don't want to join you. No, I'm good. Uh, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm going to actually bail. I'm going to turn Kahulin into Skathak. Ow! Kind of. I actually forgot about that skill. Alt, are you okay there, Monogal? Need a moment? Need a... Need a towel? Need like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes? Come back later. And I'm just gonna bail. I hate running from a fight, but eh. Better than wasting my time and killing this thing. Okay, let me go make a Skathak real quick. Necessary, because I'm pretty sure Skathak gives me incenses, which again will be useful for my demons. Welcome to the world of shadows. I never get enough uh, tired of that. Alright, Skathak. Skathak, Skathak, Skathak. Where are you? Oh, uh, there you are. You take Kahulin. And specifically only Kahulin. Care less for any other... I don't want to give up any of my other demons. I only want Kahulin. Uh, uh, no. On, where are you? Gabriel, no. Abdiel, no. Oh, it's doing all the demons I like. Not even Kahulin? Really? Am I just stuck with Kahulin? I can't believe. I thought for sure I'd be able to like use Kahulin to make Skavak. Being mermaids and everything. Alright, well then, I'll just make another demon to turn it into something. Uh, Yakshini. Can I make Yakshini with uh, Kahulin? Where's Yakshini? Wait, where is Yakshini? So many demons. Keep forgetting how many I make. Oh, there you are. You take Kahulin. I don't want to give up my other demons. I know I can technically burn money for it, but if I don't need to waste, I don't need to waste. Uh, nope. With Alice. Dune. With Artemis. Darn it! Alright, then you know what? Screw it. Didn't want to do this, but I don't want to waste my time. Oh, because I don't know what demon conversation, like uh, combination, I can do to turn Kahulin into something. Unless I could turn you into Satanta, but I think that would still take a demon away. I know first world problems, right? I honestly have the money. I could just get rid of Kahulin. And I'll just probably get rid of. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll just get rid of Kahulin. Bye, Kahulin. Oh, wait, wrong button. Trying to buy back Skavak. Let's see, where is Skavak? Because I realize this is also a Skavak that I've probably been working on, right? So it's a lot stronger. Yep! Yeah. I forgot that it, I did have my previous Skavak that I made at one point, and I've been kind of going through the ringer and making a lot of these demons a lot crazier. Return. Eh, it is what it is. Now we can do that demon conversation, which I'm just going to rush through. I'm not going to spend too much time with it, because we already did that demon conversation before. If it gives me free essence, uh, essence, incense, then it's worth it. Unless I'm misremembering something, and I do this, and I don't get any essences, I would be kind of heartbroken if I'm doing this wrong. Rush through, rush through, rush through. Then we can take down Lamu and be done with it. Then we can call it episode. 
Then you go something for my stomach. I am starving. I went to uh earlier today. I did I wanna give a do want to give a shout out to one food spot though. This is not a paid sponsorship, in case anybody's wondering, believe me, I wish it were. But it's not. But I wanna like give credit to uh I went to Panera. Um I've been to Panera in ever. I had my first experience with Panera, like within the last like I think year. I know Panera existed before, but I never really like been to Panera. I just knew it was like a bakery spot, but man, somebody did not tell me that they had some really like banging soup. Like their soups are amazing. And their mac and cheese is oh, it's amazing. Uh I went to Panera uh and I got this mac and cheese and they offer like little bacon bits. Um which was really good. Uh then they had this broccoli cheddar soup. Oh man. It was amazing. It was simply divine. And then uh I just got an oatmeal raisin cookie because they're my favorite kind of cookie. They had like this oatmeal berry cookie or something like that. Oh man, I could I would kill for those. Uh we'll say one thing on Panera. Delicious as it is, but man, those meals are small. I'm a growing boy, I need to eat more. But I get it, because I think most of the people that go to Panera are either like People that have gentle stomachs or old people. And I realized that might be like, well, what about normal people? I don't think, well, I don't know, classy people maybe go to Panera? Like, people like me that will just go to like a fast food joint and call it a day. People like me don't really go to Panera, I'm pretty sure. But it was nice to like, you know, have it. And Panera's good for once in a mile. Uh, all oh, right, right, we gotta fight Lamu. Based on, I was like, what am I doing here again? Rush through this real quick. Uh but no, like the food was like really good. I just wish the meals were larger. Or maybe if my stomach was small. I don't know, but my appetite wasn't small. Or if my appetite was smaller, maybe it wouldn't be that bad for me. Oh well, I don't regret it. It was expensive though. I think it was a little too expensive for my at least the Panera I went to. It was a little expensive for my taste. But at the same time, it was so good that eh. I, I try to live by this mentality, uh, and I'm going to try it with it, so in case there's any, like, I don't know, people from Panera listening into this think I'm going to bash them. No, no, no. Uh, I try to live by a mentality of you can't put a price on food. I'm trying to, at least. Or I had at least been in any spot or restaurant or anything where I was, like, my, my, my ideal was, like, clashing. Like, so far, whenever I go to a spot, it hasn't been that bad. Like, I've actually had... Quite a lot of foods. Even one time I went to the... I don't even remember what restaurant uh, my folks and I went to. They had, like, really small foods. Like, very, like, plate size food. Not, like, fancy, like, French restaurants only have, like, one, like, Pop-Tart size thing of food. Nothing like that. No, it was one of those things where, um... I don't need to say it. This won't take me long. Eh, well, I guess I will save, just in case. Uh... But... Even that, I was like, it was still really good, like... I think my one regret is like, I don't know, I feel like as I'm growing, my appetite's still growing. But then again, I'm also scrawny too, so maybe it's just finally like now all of a sudden my appetite is just kicking in. Or maybe as a streamer I get hungry. Maybe this is my contact sport that makes me hungrier. Young man, I'm detecting what appears to be a single human life ahead. However, I sense a powerful demon as well. It's almost certainly Lamu. I advise that we proceed with caution. I think we'll be fine. Uh, this I definitely did multiple times. So, uh, again, this is the second run. So I'm assuming this is in DLC stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, not spoiler stuff. In case anybody's wondering. Lamu's attention is fixed on his target. We may be able to catch him off guard. Or I could just look dramatic and pose. Uh, so you viewers may remember from last time. I was like, we prioritized rescuing her. I can tell you with absolute certainty. No matter how many times I've tried this, unfortunately, the same result happens. And if you know, you know. For the sake of this, I'm just going to say we take down Lamo. Understood. I'm not going to waste my time. Go. Ugh. The tentacles, man. It's, it's the tentacles. It's like how girls are when they hear the word moist. I know I just made like a bunch of girls right now be like, ew, me. And I say this because there's a female friend of mine that hates that word. Not Jackie, in case anyone's wondering. Somebody else. Well, I, I think she might hate it too. I haven't really 
tested it with her. But, ugh, yeah, she, she doesn't like, uh, I have a female friend that hates that word, something fierce. And, of course, that just gets my friend to, like, say it over, my other friend to say it over and over. He'll say it just for no reason, just to, like, get a rise out of him. Did I miss one? I missed one, wow. Oh, I didn't kill it. Oh, well. I'll get rid of it next turn. They don't block that? Oh, whatever. Ow! Whatever. Oh yeah, I forgot Hayataro's weak to darkness. Oh. Well, this is about to be quick. I wonder, do I need to use energy? Can I just like... This? Wow, I did enough damage. You know what? I want Ami to do it with a kick. Please be enough. Ah! Ah! That little thing killed me with a single kick. Yeah, she's a martial arts master. What are you expecting? She even said, why ah? Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do this. Ew! Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Oh god, that's still never. This thing is so disgusting. Ugh, it's so. It's so bad. Oh, sorry, I'm just uh, editing my things here. Just making sure, because uh, I just realized the quality of my video might have been like. I did. Hopefully it hasn't. Hopefully for those long time viewers, my video hasn't been... Well, I guess we'll find out one way or another. I need to... That was so into the game, I kind of didn't check on, like, the status of the video. I'm hoping it doesn't, like, look bad on quality and stuff. Again, I'm still trying to figure this out, so if anybody got uh, some feedback, would greatly be appreciated. What are you weak to again? Fire? Oh, alright, well... Whatever, this won't take long. Burn. Uh, CP turn, uh, this should do a lot of damage, right? Farewell! Yep, see? Told you. Knew it was gonna take too long. And with that, you've achieved victory. I'm gonna go through this pain again, though, so... Bye, Makima. Hey, you're all right. Yep. Itsukishima. Now that you mention it, I don't see Isonokami either. What did I say last time? I think I stayed silent, right? Did I tell the truth? I think I stayed silent, so I'm just gonna be like, hey, this is what happened. The if oh, I can't speak for Yuzuru because he's always been the same personality this whole game. But Dazai, your glow up, man. If you glue up, glue up. I don't think that's a proper word, but humor me. If you glue up a little quicker, maybe you could have helped me save Sonokami and Itsukishima. Wow, you scared the crap out of me, uh, Pyrojack. Anyway, well, that's done. Big poop. Man, I have a question. Was my previous assessment inaccurate? Had I objected to Her Holiness accompanying us, she would still be alive. Or rather, considering that this is Reborn mode, you clearly had the power to absolutely destroy Lamu. So why is it that you still lost? Well, simple. I, I mean, I may be the protagonist, but even I can't stop the power of the story writing. It just goes like that. Any viewers understand how frustrating it is? You'd understand, right? You play games like this where you... Even if it's New Game Plus or you clearly destroy the boss. It doesn't even have to be New Game Plus. You destroy the boss and you still end up losing. Ugh. I get it for the sake of the story, but man, it sucks. I was created to aid humanity. Instead, I led a very precious human to her death. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna... Well, hmm. Live in an unjust world. I feel like I should still be support... I like Algami. Nah, I can't do that to him. He's too much of a bro. 
So you mean to say this outcome was beyond my control? Yep. Not even the Atlas gods could have possibly seen this coming. Ah, could this be an example of what humans refer to as comforting one another? I see. You're striving to be considerate of my own state. Thank you for that. I will repay your kindness by serving as your strength. Fixating on the past cannot change its course, no matter how one may desire it. Instead, we can only redouble our efforts to ensure their deaths were not in vain. Some viewer out there is probably wondering, why didn't you skip that? Because I really, really like Alkami. He is probably one of the best things in this game, bar none. I would love to have an Algami in my life. Just for something like, I don't know, like small and mundane, like, I don't know, I'm washing dishes, and then as I'm like scrubbing, I'm like, all right, there we go. And Algami comes out of nowhere, and he's just like, Young man, you are from Mr. Spawn. There's a little bit of grease still over to the side of the plate there. It would be imperative that you remove it. But be certain to use hotter water and proper dish detergent. Oh, thanks, Algami. Appreciate it. No problem. It would also be beneficial to quickly dry the plate with, say, a paper towel or a simple dry towel. That way, no other residue remains. Thank you. That's really kind of you, Algami. Like, I don't know. Like, just have Algami help me with things like that. I think that'd be really cool. Uh, I think that's it. I got all the meme on here. No other side quests here. There's all these things to, like, give me, uh, level up stuff, but whatever. I realize I haven't talked to Gustav in a minute, and I don't think I need to, so, eh. Wait, no, I gotta go to Tokyo, right? Still have a little time in the video, so I think what I'll probably end it is actually just us at the third area. If I can rush through this quicker. Now here comes the problem, though. The third area... It's probably the one area in this whole thing that I gotta admit, I don't see how it connects. So I might have to like really ask some like true diehard fans of this. Not that I'm not, but I'm really curious on how the third area truly connects to this game because with the exception of maybe the one moment between Dazai and Abdiel, and I guess technically we are fighting the Demon Lord, but does the third area truly have well any done. relevance to the story of this? Like, I really think we could take out the third area and we'd be completely fine with this game. I really don't think there's much the third area adds to it other than just the jump and how things go. But if I'm wrong, then by all means, viewers, like I said, let me know. Hmm. I've been wrong before. Ugh, I hate being human. Uh, I've been wrong before, but I really don't think there's really any significance to uh, the third area other than Ishtar. In fact, that's probably Ishtar. Ishtar, the moment with Abdale and Dazai, I guess. Um, really trying to think. What else was in the third area was really, like, major? Huapo? Yeah, Huapo was a navigator. I think that's it. Like, I really can't think of anything else. But if there are any... Or, R slash is anything. No, R is not proper uh, English. If there is anything really crucial or relevant to the story in the third chapter we're about to be on, then please, by all means, let me know. Because despite me playing this numerous times now, even I'm still at a loss. I took a minute uh, during my uh, third playthrough of this, uh, when I did the first neutral, where I was like, is there truly anything I need to, like, Care about this? Indeed. Regardless of what goals you may have, I will see to it that they are fulfilled. This I swear. You're not Manny Rivera from El Tigre. You don't. You're not supposed to swear. Or White Pantera. Or Puma Loco. Or any of those characters. Uh, of course, a little quick shout out to, uh, I discovered this way late, but LT Grace coming to Nickelodeon All-Stars World 2. Uh, I've been actually thinking about getting into that game because as a Smash player, I always want to play other Smash clones. I love Nickelodeon stuff. Uh, I found out they added LT Grey and they're adding the Angry Beavers and other Hey Arnold characters to it. I haven't watched any of the recent trailers. I was just told from a friend, uh, funny enough, was also Jackie. Uh, and she was telling me about it. I was like, oh, that's freaking dope. That's I'm awesome. I'm surprised you had nothing to say when we received our current mission. Oh, I, I wasn't paying attention. I was busy ranting and chatting about, like, 
why this third area of the game didn't matter and like things like that. So I see. I'm glad to see your own goals are aligned with Bethel's. Sure, I didn't just press A on the first thing. When one's personal will and their organization's goals are in conflict, I imagine it could cause great strife. It would be best for you to avoid such an experience. Henceforth, you should comply with everything Atlas says for you to do. Do not think you have free will. If Atlas decides to give you 19,000 spin-offs, like the protagonists of Persona 4 and 3 and 5, then you will damn well be accepting of this circumstance, young man. Wait, what? I'm gonna be in how many spinoffs now? Just know there's no need for you to ever hold back your thoughts from me. No matter how you may feel, you can always trust me. With that said... Let's move on. Yes, let's. And I don't think there's anything... Wait, did I do everything in the... I think I did, right? Yeah, because I don't get... I guess... Oh, man... I know the third area introduced some side quests for Ame, but in case I was talking about, I'm talking, I shortened Ame no Zaka to Ame, even though I know there is an Ame, like Ame no Z uh, Uzume, but oh, man, there's just really nothing in the third area I can think of. Like, a perfect example. Third area helps, I think, introduce like a sub quest for her, but I don't really know if there's anything in this. I realize this is just a rant heavy episode. Just ranting. In fact, I'm just probably gonna name this episode just ranting. I feel like this episode was just a bunch of rants. Not like I don't usually conversate with you guys, but I feel like this was a very especially rant heavy episode. Be careful. Uh, I'll be fine. Careful better be me. Wee. But yeah, this is I'll just do this cutscene here. Get Huapo. Oh well. We'll get Wapo real quick, and then we'll just call it and make it an episode. Now, I'm pretty sure, though, one good thing about this is more Mimon. I mean, again, I'm really trying to go here. More Mimon. I think there's some more bombs and instances to get from subquests. Uh, can't really think of any specific demon conversations here. Oh, wait, there is one. There, I think there's one with... um. Oh gosh, I need to make, uh, I think Odin gives me one Valkyrie, but I can't remember. Eh, whatever. All right, yeah, we're in war, cool. Uh, oh, now I gotta go through this, the dark area, all this stuff. And I also gotta remember, last time, who did I fought? I fought Lilim. So that means I did law, which means I need to do chaos this time, which means I need to fight Dionysus. In case everybody's remembering, uh, it's the sub quest that I have to do really quickly. No. But that'll be for next episode. Uh, what do you want? Fire gems? Yeah, here you go. I got him, so I don't even care. Those are useless, but whatever. The subquest done for the tank. Um, what other demon conversations? I haven't really done many demon conversations. I should though. Yeah, yeah, yeah thanks. But yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk to. Oh right, I forgot the. Uh, I think I. What character did I give him? Who, who do we give for Black Frost, viewers? Who was it? Uh, oh, was it was it Shaquille O'Neal from the hit movie Steel that nobody knows? If you remember or better yet know Steel, then I don't know. Uh, I got nothing to say, but oh, I'm so close. Just a little more, huh? Hey, you there? Better go be using some icy hot. Serious. Or otherwise, I want to be called Shaq Diesel. No, no, sorry, I just didn't this. Move this. Yeah, I remember giving him, like, the Shaquille O'Neal thing. Better go fight that guy. If you do, I'll help you save some insurance with your car with the general. Point where uh, every time I deal with him, I'm just going to make dumb Shaquille O'Neal references. 
even though there's not many. Uh, viewers, I will say this though. Uh, this will be the last thing I talk about before I end the episode. And, you know, do my usual, like, thank you for tuning in. But, for any viewers curious, I've talked about this... Man, when did I talk about this? I think it was during Nocturne or something? Uh... I got a random game. I don't even remember how I got it. I think someone gave it to me. I don't really know much about, like, uh, athlete stuff, but I do know Shaquille O'Neal. Uh... But what's crazy was, he had a game called Shaq Fu. Uh, there's a newer game he got, or he made a long while ago, called Shaq Fu, A Legend Reborn. Uh, not gonna lie, I heard nothing but bad things about this game. So, I'm debating about whether I should save it for one visit, or should I keep it for like a future like April Fool's thing? I don't know, I think it might be dope. Again, that's it. I'm not gonna go further on the tirade, but there's a there's a apparently I think it's a beat 'em up game or a fighting game or something with Shaquille and Neil. Never thought I ever. Uh... I don't know. I think the only reason I learned of Shaquille and Neil. Why? Did I, how do I even know about Shaquille and Neil? I'm not really into sports. So how did I discover him? Was it because of Grown Ups 2? No, it was something else sooner than that. I know it just made someone cringe from that statement. Like, I know of him. I, I obviously have heard of him, like, athletically, but I never really, like, follow much of sports. So I know I just... I'm pretty just sure I just threw away all my sports-loving uh, community there. If I did, I'm sorry. I'm ignorant with sports. I apologize. I'm trying to get better at it, especially because I have family that love sports, but... I don't know, it's just not my thing, man. I'm just a simple otaku, dude. The only sports I like is, like, sports and anime. If they did a Shaquille O'Neal in anime thing, then I'd probably watch it. Okay, that joke's... This joke needs to stop. Alright, Huapo. But yeah, I'm just gonna get Huapo. I'm gonna go save at that blue pillar that was just in the distance. But nonetheless, I think this will be an episode, so... We'll see how far we can go in the third area. I highly doubt I'll be able to beat it because this third area is just so long. It's just so long. You... Connected the thing? Wapo! Oh, oh. What are you doing? Alright, well then fine. We'll go to something else later. Get the other things first. But yeah, we'll call it an episode here. So like I said, on the next episode, I'm just gonna go, um... Hopefully, I'll be able to, I should say. If I jump down there on bone. Hang on, let me activate the blue pair. I'll just do that and do everything next episode. Uh, hopefully we'll see how far we get in the third episode. Um... Oh, wow, you actually detected it this time, Wapo. Thanks. Great, that's useless, but still. But yeah, we'll get to the third episode. Oh, actually, you know what? We have a little time in the vid. Like, at least eight minutes or so. I could probably beat this abscess really quickly. Take me too long. Excuse me, Valkyries. Knowing how strong I am, this won't take long. I'll make mince meat of you. Oh, you didn't die. Well, we are getting to the part where it's gonna be a little tougher now. Why'd you talk higher pitched? You want some, I'll do ya! Is it because I'm in the abscess? Is my voice like higher pitched because I'm in the abscess? I bet it is. Somebody's like, why'd you use electricity? Why not? Narakami bypasses resistances. I love it. It's a great name. Obviously, I'm saying this is a bias as a Persona 4 lover, but whatever. There, see? That didn't take any long, uh, too long a time. Got that done. Get my reward. Oh, right. Getting the uh, the meme on here is going to be a pain in the butt. Oh, God. I forgot about this. Some of the meme on here are annoying to get. Especially that one jump one. Eh, well, whatever. It's got to be done. Anyway, like I said, that's going to all happen on the next episode. So thank you all for tuning in. Like I said, if you were okay with any of my rants, if you have any feedback on, like I said, about the martial arts or any of that jazz, or looking forward to some of the other games, let me know. Also, viewers, if you have any ideas for potential one visits, let me know in the comment section below. I wouldn't mind uh, giving some of them a try. I think it'd be uh, worth a shot to just have an experience. Whether it's a game I like, a game I don't like, I at least want to like try different games and see my variety. Like I know I said I'm not into like, sports and shooting, but... Maybe if with friends I might try it, but otherwise, like, if you guys got any, like, platformers, JRPGs, action, adventure, AAA, 
single A indie games, anything you think that might be interesting, then let me know. I'll at least consider it. I mean, it's only fair. You don't have to, but it's just, you know, just me getting to try and connect to my community a little bit more. And I really want to, like, try and do better with that. I realize I've become a bit of a hermit lately, so I'm trying to break out of my shell there. But that's enough of my rant. Anyway, thank you all for tuning in for this episode. Uh, well, hmm. I really guess there's nothing much else to mention. Third area, the fourth area, backtrack to these areas. I really don't know how many more episodes left. Considering that we're in episode 48, normally an anime, like, one of those shonen anime starts at 52. I don't think I'll make the 52. I'm hoping I don't go beyond 60. Like, I don't want it to be beyond 60 episodes, and hopefully it shouldn't be, but we'll see. I know that these areas are large, so we'll see what happens. But nonetheless, that's just, I'm just ranting at this point. Anyway, like I said, thank you for tuning in. If you like my rants, if you like my voice, if you just like this game in general, then like I said, please follow me, please like me, please subscribe. I really try my best for you guys. I like this hobby of mine. I really want to make it better for everyone here. So nonetheless, I will see all of you, my lovely viewers, on the next episode.